In this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral. We're going to look at the integral of cotangent squared x dx. All right, now, uh, for someone that's in a Calc 2 or Calc 3 class, this is going to be an extremely easy integral to do. However, I'm doing it for that Calc 1 student that is just at the beginning of calculus and hasn't quite got um, a hang on these integrals yet. All right, um, to begin with, you've got to remember, if you see something, especially as far as trig um, identities or trig functions go, you've got to take a look at those identities that you know and you learned when you were in a trig class. This is a cotangent squared x. All right, well, there's a Pythagorean identity that includes that. All right, so if I can take this equation and solve for cotangent squared x, then I've got a substitution that I can make for that original trig function that they've got in the integral and then very possibly that's going to integrate really nicely. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Cotangent squared x I'm going to replace with cosecant squared x minus 1. So this integral becomes cosecant squared x minus 1 dx. All right, now I've got an integral here with a subtraction sign so I can integrate both of these individually. So I can do the integral of cosecant squared x dx minus the integral of 1 dx. Now both of these integrate really easily. You should have this integral memorized. The integral of cosecant squared x dx is going to be a negative cotangent x. This will be a minus. I'm integrating 1 with a dx gives me an x and then we've got a plus c. So like I said, um, for the Calc 3 or Calc 2 student, this is going to be a really straightforward, easy integral. But for that person that's just starting in Calc 1 and still doesn't have the integrals down pat, the main thing is just don't forget about all your different identities where you can do some substitutions. So definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.